Hey Future Director, and on today I'll be giving you a short tutorial on how to place objects in your footage without having to film them on the actual set. So, uh, for example, I used a light, like a light dangling from the ceiling, and I used this. I took footage of this bowl right here, and uh, I just added in the original footage, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So first I start the original footage. And uh, it's just uh, footage of someone uh, working, like it's, it's an overhead shot. But you can also use this method to add things in the foreground as well. And like the footage I took of the light, or uh, the bowl, I want to use as a light dangling from the ceiling. So there's by itself. So the first thing I did was I took a circle mask right here. To cut out all of this right here, the carpet and anything else in the in the footage to just focus on the bowl the bowl's uh, outer rim here and then next I took the original footage and uh, when you place it on the original footage as you can see with effects lab pro it's different from vision lab studio because um, it's actually translucent it's actually uh, like uh, clear and see-through so that's not good if this is see-through because it's supposed to be a solid object not like a ghost object you can also use this to make ghost objects, but uh, I'm not wanting to do that right now, so I just took another mask, another circle mask, and placed it over the original footage. So then it looks like a solid object, it's not see through, it's not translucent. And uh, then there you have a, a light, like or like the top edge of a light. But the problem is, it doesn't really match the original footage, it, it looks a lot different. So, uh, like, it may not look the same on the camera. But it, from my vision, from my point of view, it looks like this doesn't match this. So I just use a simple color correction by adding a basic filter. But I only added on this part instead of the whole part. So I did a circle mask. See, instead of having it on the whole footage, I just did it on that. Using a circle mask. So after color correcting it and uh, adding it in, um, I added a spotlight to complete it and make it look more natural and more like it's actually a light like pointing like it's on like just in this area so I added the spotlight effect and there you have it the spotlight effect is right here and it makes it look like this light is on it's like on off you know and uh, here this is what it looks like uh, see I actually basically when I add a mask on the original footage I literally cut out that part of it so it fits together like that. It's like a puzzle. Same here. You know, just light footage and then original footage. It's that simple. That's how you can add objects into your uh, footage. So sim by using simple color correction, footage of uh, a bowl, a metal bowl, uh, original footage, and uh, a basic filter using color correction, and a simple spotlight effect uh, right around there, you can come up with this uh, simple shot of uh, the camera like high up to where so high up where it's uh, filming the edge of a light dangling from the ceiling. You're going to see the difference between spotlight and no spot. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, from Superfuture Director. This is for FX Lab Pro users only, which is uh, I guess a good thing because it's the cheapest uh, program they have. Mine's are $49. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, just to let you know, this is footage from the Captain America Begins movie, uh, my upcoming one of my upcoming short films on uh, YouTube. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Hope it helps.